Okay, so my talk is a motion-based uh, vehicle identification in car video. This is a work done with my student, uh, Amy Lali, and Hong Yuan Tsai, and also my colleague, Miran Tosian. Uh, we are from, from Univers uh, Indiana University, Purdue University, uh, Indianapolis. Uh, our goal is to uh, track and identify the vehicles uh, in the background, uh, and from the background uh, in the in car video. Uh, we mainly use the echo motion. Uh, from echo motion, we find uh, the background motion and uh, try to use the, this motion information to separate the vehicle motions. Uh, several things we have done here. Uh, one is to profile features vertically so that uh, uh, we get a condensed images. That will speed up the processing and also uh, increase the robustness. And second, we compute the uh, motion probabilities uh, for uh, vehicles and background. And then we use uh, uh, hidden Markov models to process the continuous uh, motion of the, you know, the, uh, the videos. Uh, so these are outlines. Um, some assumptions here. Uh, typically, we have these kind of views. We have a camera looking forward and the coordinate systems displayed here. Uh, we assume that uh, the echo motion is known, but uh, actually we haven't used it. Uh, we, we separated, you know, straightforward case and uh, turn case separately. Um, we assume that uh, all the vehicles are moving in the same direction. Uh, occasionally you have, uh, you know, uh, the vehicles on the, the opposite lens. Uh, we only use the horizontal image velocity that speed up the processing. And uh, uh, when we track vehicle and try to identify it, we need to uh, track it for a while, you know, and as the time increase, uh, the certainty will increase. Uh, so challenging things here is um, are, are listed here. First of all, you have all kind of vehicles variation, uh, varied from, you know, different shapes and size and colors. And also illumination uh, changes out, like, you know, daytime videos and nighttime videos is quite different. Um, some occlusion here, also um, very clear, the background may uh, disturb the uh, tracking and the recognitions. So we hope we can do real time uh, perform uh, processing. Related work can be set, uh, categorized in different levels. Uh, first, uh, people have used uh, learning, uh, learning intensity distributions to, uh, to classify the vehicle shape. And also a lot of people do the, uh, the feature-based uh, works and symmetric uh, properties and colors, the shadows are used. And uh, also model-based uh, approaches, you can define the template, uh, deformable template to fit on the vehicles. A lot of tracking, uh, use optical flows, um, this is also uh, normal things we, people are using. So we basically use uh, uh, the echo motion and uh, this is quite general because every vehicle is moving. And uh, we also, oh, we can find that uh, the background is almost determined from your angle motion. Okay, although you have depth information involved, but uh, uh, you can predict uh, that level, you know, uh, to a certain degrees. Um, vehicles um, motion is different from background. We mainly separate the vehicles by using this cue. So at the beginning, we did some. Uh, surveys uh, on the human subsec uh, sub subject. People can identify these uh, um, very low level features. Uh, this is vehicle, these are background, people can identify it. even the points, people can track that in the video. So uh, we guess that uh, motion alone can do something you know, for the identifications. So uh, the real uh, the principle, or you know, in, uh, it's, a, it's a display here. If you have a vehicle moving forward, uh, you have a fixed panels in front of you, you will have uh, you know, left and right motions, you know, flows. Then we use uh, the saturation to just illustrate the, uh, the magnitude of the flows. So, uh, if you uh, take uh, the, the street uh, model into consideration, you will see that uh, the, the down the street, uh, normally it's de a long depth okay, far, uh, with a large depth, so the flow should be smaller than the uh, close part. And also sky is infinite, infinitely you know, uh, far away, so it, it, the flow should be zero. Then uh, post so many uh, vehicles there, depends on their 
motion, directions, and speed, you know, you can make a contrast to their background. That's the cue we are using. Okay. Um, so, uh, in order to speed up the processing, we did a, uh, vertical profilings of the video frames, uh, make it a one-dimensional uh, array. Then it goes around the time, so totally we have uh, time spatial uh, volumes. It's called, we call it uh, uh, condensed images. Then the second part, we computed the uh, likelihood probabilities of uh, X and V. X is the uh, image position of the features, and V is its uh, image velocity. Okay. And then uh, finally, this is uh, HHM, uh, invo uh, HHMM involved uh, for the uh, for check the continuity of the motion traces. Okay, uh, basic model we define here, uh, it's uh, uh, very obvious. The vehicle itself, the observer vehicle has the speed variations. That's, uh, it follows the normal distributions. And your target vehicle uh, in front of you it is also in certain range. Uh, it is also a normal distribution. Then the vehicle itself has a speed variation uh, relative to the cameras. So we also assume this is a, a Gaussian distribution. Then on the two sides of the road, they have uh, obstacles and buildings, trees, and whatever, you know. And then uh, you can also dis describe the, the general uh, probability models in this 3D space. Uh, this is top view. And also for side view, we have this uh, uh, distributions for features. Normally, we have uh, bumpers and the shadows. It's very uh, robustly uh, detected. But to the top of the vehicle, you know, uh, you only see the very high truck. You know, at this level, you have the features. So generally, the features is uh, getting less and less uh, when this, the uh, when height get uh, get higher. So computed the 3D model, uh, 3D distribution of the, the features, we can find its uh, 2D distributions. Okay, this is a probability distribution for images. So we vehicle basically appear here. This is the horizon of the you know road. Then we try to use this um, weight distribution. You use a mask you know to profile the images. Okay. So we have most distinct uh, uh, features around here. You know, and the vehicle should be detected. And the features we used are uh, three types basically. Uh, the most uh, the uh, important one is the line segments, horizontal line segments. Okay, we extract the line seg segments in real time from frame to frames, then try to profile it um, in the vertical, vertically. And when the profiles uh, here, this is the intensity profile. Okay, so you will see that uh, the, those background traces moves uh, expanded from the um, you know, FOE uh, doing its expansion, and the vehicle trace is uh, you know, in the in the middle, okay. So uh, I have uh, some other examples. This is a profiling of uh, horizontal uh, line segments. We count the numbers of uh, the uh, line segments and provide it onto, onto the time. Uh, this is called condensed images. And here is the tail lights. Uh, we computed the intensity peaks uh, of the vehicles, try to provide the trace uh, in these condensed images. So now we, we work on these um, traces and try to identify the images, identify the um, background or, or cars. So some uh, additional processings like a smoothing, uh, tracking, uh, so that we can get a little bit robust result. And for the tracking of the uh, horizontal segments, uh, we find the center of them, not the margin of them, so that uh, the trace is uh, much better than uh, those noise and you know margins. Um, okay, now this is the second part, and um, how to modify, uh, how to model the, the the motion probabilities of background and the vehicles. Okay, so uh, use the three D uh, distribution parameters, and we can compute uh, the, the background something like this distribution: so x horizontal. A position, image position vertically, vertically this is uh, image velocity. So you will see the right side basically is a positive flow and left side is negative flow, okay. And for the vehicle, uh, the joint probability of uh, X and V basically, it's a smaller than this, uh, you know, that uh, the car is staying at the center of the road basically. 
So this is a, a Gaussian distribution. Okay. Um, at this point, you probably seen the difference already and overlap these two um, distribution, distribution map, probably you can see the difference. So if you have observation X and V plotted into, plotted into these uh, uh, two maps, you see which side has a high probability. That's the Bayesian um, framework, okay? But this is uh, not enough, not uh, enough, because uh, you still have a lot of places like the center part, you know, they have an uh, overlap, okay? So we actually need to consider the continuous motion, the motion behaviors of uh, these features. So here we have uh, the condensed images. We've seen different type of features moving uh, in different ways, okay? So here is a background motion. Basically, if you have your vehicle is a constant speed, then it will be uh, hyperbolic lines, uh, hyperbolic curves, okay? And this is the, uh, the vehicle moving in the same direction but on the side of the lens. And this is uh, um, in front of our camera, and this is the red one is a zigzag way. So if you just look at a very local uh, you know, XV value using Bayesian, it's not good enough to detect the, the traces, okay? So we are looking at it, the properties, you know, look at the behavior of the traces. So how to use it? Uh, we use a, a hidden Markov, mo uh, Markov model. Uh, we have background and uh, uh, background distribution and vehicle distribution calculated from this uh, vehicle formulas. And we will see that uh, uh, the features, background features down the street will gradually move out, you know, move in this way. You know, we have experience that the, uh, the background pass our vehicle on two sides, the speed is getting fast. So uh, this is, we are gradually separated from the vehicle distribution. But vehicle is, uh, uh, speed XV should be maintained in these uh, regions, okay? So we can gradually uh, enhance our predictions and make uh, uh, very certain uh, estimations. Okay, so HMM is a, a very typical one. Uh, we have observation prob uh, probability calculated previously, and from uh, T times one frames, we will compute uh, the status of a T time a T. Okay, we have two hidden states: one is the background, one is the car. Uh, if uh, the probability of a car is larger, you know, calculated from here is larger than background, we think it's uh, the vehicle. Otherwise, it's background. Okay. Uh, we also do normalization of it. Um, then um, the detection results is dis displayed here. Uh, initially, we have a, a car distribution to be 0 0.7, and the background distribution is 0 0.3. This is because we focus on the vehicle. You know, we, when we do profiling, we you know, uh, use the vehicle information. So and this is the transition probabilities. Uh, get, uh, we get it in empirically, uh, it, it works well, and this is the parameters um, for the, uh, the accuracies, okay. Um, sometimes you have uh, like uh, vehicles moving on opposite land, uh, their speed should be uh, in this range. Red side is, red one is the background, but uh, uh, the opposite lens should be like this. And forward uh, vehicles, you know, track vehicles should be in this range. So we have diff, um, different uh, uh, probability distributions for the uh, different objects. Okay, uh, this is uh, uh, some cut of the result, or it's, uh, again, you know, something out of the range. Uh, we have night views and daytime videos, and we have uh, tracking results. And, and this is uh, uh, the tracking. The, the intensity here shows the, the, the uh, probabilities. So it is, if it is white, then it's a car, 100% car, probability is one. If it is black one, then you know, it's 100% a, um, a background. So in the middle, you have a gray level, that means uh, we cannot determine, and certainty is 0 0.5, car 0 0.5 um, background, okay. Uh, then I have a, a video, okay, so can, I'm sorry. Um, I see the mouse. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is quite dark, and also 
uh, quite bumping here. When after we do the one D profiling, this kind of you know, generating motion is reduced. Uh, you see, we can see uh, power. With, you can identify. Oh, what happened? Oh, let me let, let me let me try it again. <laughs> Sorry, I probably touched the mouse. The original video is was from a police car. <laughs> this stopped some you know, speed vehicles. And uh, line segment tracking uh, in real time, and uh, you see in the background. Oh, th these wires actually uh, they were not affected the traces because uh, the entire frames that you know you have uh, it's covered by wire frames, uh, wires. So after you do the profiling, the they were not particularly working on uh, inference any traces. So this is an intensity peak. Basically, in the evening, you track the, the tail lights. Um, here is corner detection. And it works good on objects, but uh, at the occluding edges, uh, they were basically get uh, get wrong result, uh, get wrong results. So this is tracking a little bit. I have a little bit blue part here. Uh, it's visible on the screen. Uh, this is the profiling of uh, horizontal lines. And then center part is, is are extracted as red lines. You can see that uh, uh, it uh, follows the vehicle. Then uh, some multiple car tracking. Uh, if the car moves far away from here, it is out of our uh, probability model. So this small cars probably will not show up in the you know, tracking. And okay, single vehicle, and here is multi vehicle tracking in the night. Uh, after we find the lo horizontal locations of the vehicle, uh, one box is uh, fit onto the vehicle. So you can see that, uh, well, although it is a little bit bumping, but roughly it follows the, the car. I think uh, I'll still to find the, the bottom lines, the horizontal segments to, to fit that, to fit that box. Uh, this guy is bad luck again, it's uh, caught by police. Okay, um, the conclusion is uh, uh, here, three points. Uh, we have uh, profiled the features to speed up the processing. Uh, and uh, we define the probability models of different motions. And then we use uh, uh, HM, HHM to find the continuous motions of the vehicles, you know, try to identify. Okay, so, question. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.